we're going to go through the unloader hip in, in particular and just talk about the biomechanics behind it and what it's meant to do. Um, it's really meant to improve stability and mobility of the hip joint. It's, it's, it's designed to optimize load dispersion of the OA affected hip joint. And so how does that work? Well, let's look at the first things first. Let's look at the knee. We've been doing this in the knee for, for, for years and Oser is a, a great example of a company that's really put a lot of time and effort and R&D behind perfecting something like this. So if you look at that top left x-ray there, you have medial joint space narrowing of varus uh, appearing knee. Well, with a, a medial unloading uh, knee brace, you can unload the, the worn cartilage and unload the healthy appearing cartilage. So if you look at the image on the right, with the unloader knee brace in place, you have effectively created a more neutral uh, knee alignment, thereby providing the patient with some pain relief and stability with improved proprioception. So the same principles uh, are present in, in something like an hip unloader brace. Uh, the idea being to shift the maximal load to less affected areas, meaning healthier cartilage. Again, the, the goal being provide stability and improve proprioception. So the biomechanics behind this, it, it's, a, it's a multifaceted. So you have a pulley system that provides compression. It delivers a proprioceptive support to abductor tendons of the hip. Um, and the goal is to improve the ability to dynamically mobilize the joints, improving muscle tension. There's also a dynamic rotational strap. And so the idea behind that is providing an external rotation moment as needed, which increases the abductor moment and improve load dispersion. So during swing phase and stance phase, there are differences of activity of the, the, the brace itself. And we'll look at that right here. So if you look at the beginning of this, this gait cycle uh, during heel strike, the strap tension is high. Um, so patient is just landing. Now the tension is gonna precipitously drop because they're in stance phase and the femoral head is in congruity with the acetabulum where it was meant to be with the activity of the brace. Now the tension will rise back up as the patient goes from stance to uh, a swing phase because it's trying to maintain the femoral head, again, unloading the painful cartilage region. 